I'm Linda from Barlady's Body Blitz. Welcome to Metabolic Training Cardio Sculpt. For today's workout, all you will need are some light hand weights if you want to increase the intensity of the cardio exercises. I'm just using half a kilo, which is just over a pound. Then I've got two more sets of weights. So one set, which is a medium set, 3.5 kilos or around eight pounds. And then I've got a single dumbbell, which is five kilos or around 10, 11 pounds. You will also need a sturdy chair. It is quite high, so we're elevating our glute bridge work and a few other exercises on that. If you are a little bit more of an intermediate exerciser or even closer to beginner, you might want something lower, like a step bench or maybe even a lower coffee table. Just make sure that it's sturdy enough for you to put all your weight on. So what we're gonna to do today is some cardio exercises, really nice flowing exercises to warm up your body. Sprinkle throughout that section, we're also going to be doing some arm work with light weights or even you can do it with no weights. And then we're going to start doing some more toning work for the lower body and the core. Okay, are you ready? Minnie's decided to park herself right in the middle of the mat, so I'm gonna to have to try and work around her. We're gonna start with a step touch. So what I want you to do is just bring your arms out to the side and then cross in front. It doesn't matter which arm crosses in front. And we're just stepping side to side for now. And you wanna make sure that your tummy's pulled in, your shoulders are relaxed, and you've got a nice bend in those knees. So at all times, a nice flat back, an open chest, and keeping your neck nice and long. A few more of these, and then we're going to change it to a cross in front with the legs and a cross overhead with the arms. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. So we're gonna cross overhead with those arms and cross in front with those legs. Still try to sink into it, trying to open through the chest and then get those arms crossing approximately at your eye level. A few more like this, and then we're going to cross behind, and our arms are also going to cross behind. So in that one, you can hinge forward slightly at the waist. Six, five, four, three, two, one. So we're crossing behind, and we're tapping our toes behind. So see how I'm hinged forward slightly at the waist? And what we're doing here is we're warming up the back of the arms as well as the back of the legs. So I've got my feet turned out slightly here, so they're not, the toes aren't pointing directly to the front, more at about 45 degrees. And I'm trying to come down a little bit each time I step behind for four, three, two, one. And now I just want you to prance side to side, pushing your hands down, side to side, side to side. So I wanna get your calves warm and your hips as well. So I'm pushing my hip to the side and I am just prancing slightly with my heel up. You don't have to, have to lift off here. You can just kind of go up on the toe. A few more like this. Then we're going back to the original side step with crossing in front and we're going to start doing four of each. Four, three, two, one. So go out and across for four, three and four. Now up and in front, three and four. Now cross behind and cross your arms behind and four and side, two, three and four. Again, out in front, three and four. Overhead, three and four. Cross behind, three and four. And side, two, three, four. We're gonna do that a few more times three and four. Up overhead, three and four. Behind, sink lower, three and four. And stick your hip out, three and four. Getting it yet? Three and four. Don't worry if you stuff it up, it's totally fine. Now behind, three and four, and prance it. Three and four. How about two more sets? three and four. Overhead in front, three and four. Behind, three and four. And prance, three and four. One more set of four, three and four. Overhead, three and four. Lean forward behind, three and four. 
and prance. Three and four. Now we're doing sets of two. So faster here. Lean it and prance it. Again for two, across, over, behind, and prance it. Keep going. Over, behind, prance. A few more of these. In front, behind, prance. How about four more sets? One, and up, and back, and prance. This is two. Big arms now. Behind, and prance. Set three, up, behind, and prance. Last one, above, behind, and prance. Now stay with this prance. We're gonna bring our arms up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Again, you don't have to jump this if you don't want to. And down, up and down, up and down. A few more like this. Up and down. Four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Now come forward and back on an angle. And what I want you to do is drop slightly on the forward. So it's like a knee in, forward and back. Your arms are pumping behind you. So you want to keep them in close to your body, forward and back. See, it's a level change. It's a down and up, down and up. Weight is in the heel of the front leg. A few more like this and we're gonna to go to the other side. Simple moves to get the heart rate up, right? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Same thing, other side. Big steps, forward and back, forward and back. Just tapping that toe in, breathe through it. Forward and forward. Level changes, remember those level changes. A few more of these, then we're going to do some knee pulls and then we're gonna add them together. Four and three. We're gonna to go to the other side again and one. So now I want a proper knee pull. If you want, you can slightly bounce on that front leg. Knee pull. So I'm straightening my back leg and pulling it high. <sighs> Rowing my arms from overhead to down. Really trying to keep my tummy pulled in and bringing that knee up. If you don't want to jump on the front leg, then just keep it planted firmly. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and switch it. Same thing. Knee pull it. Back is flat. Up and up, up and up. Think of dynamic stretching that leg. It's in and then back. Back nice and straight. Try to get your heel down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Go back to the step forward for four, three, and four. And now we're gonna do eight knee pulls. Seven, six, Five, four, three, two, one. Other side, step forward and back for four. That's three and four. Now, knee pull. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Again, forward and back. And two, and three, and four, and eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, two, one, other side. Forward and back. That's three. That's four. And pull it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now go to two of these and four knee pulls. Four, three, two, one. Switch it. Two and two and four, three two and one again, two. Really change those levels. Four, three, two, one, and two. 
and two. Four, three, two, one. Two more sets of two. Then we're going to go to singles. One, two, three, and four. And again, level changes. Remember, you want to drop down. Three and four. Last set. Keep breathing. One, two, three, and four. Last time on this side. One, two, three, four. Now we're just dropping once and two knee pulls. Drop it down once, knee pulls. Down, pull twice, and down, pull twice. Come on, you can do it. And twice, and down, and twice. Four more sets. Twice, down, and twice. This is three, two pulls, big pulls. I want your knee to come high. This is two, and pull, and pull. This is the last time, and pull, and pull. Nice job, side to side. Swing your arms, we're letting the heart rate down a little bit. Breathe, and breathe. So we're gonna do a few arm sculpting moves. They're gonna burn. So if you don't want to, you don't have to use the hand weights. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. So we're just gonna come into a wide plie position. So I want you to engage your lower body. Maybe pulse it slightly here. Tummies are in, legs are wide. Your feet are turned out about 45 degrees or wherever you're comfortable. Stay low, you wanna feel that stretch in the inner thighs. Breathe. Now we're gonna come in front and open out. If you wanna keep bouncing through the legs, you can, otherwise hold it still. I want you to open out to the side and push your chest forward, forward. So you're opening and lengthening, lengthening those arms. Classic swan arms. In and open, and open, get lower. You need to keep using your large muscle groups to keep your heart rate up. And breathe out on the extension. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna come up and extend out. Up and extend out. Why not add that bounce back? In and out, so nice circular ballet arms. In, extend out, in, extend out. You're very lightly holding onto those weights and you're really focusing on pushing your shoulders down in opposition, in, extend out to the corners. Are you feeling your legs yet? In and out, in and out. Come on, a few more like this. Breathe through it. In and out. Eight, seven, lengthen. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. We're gonna come in and extend out. In and extend out. So this time I want you to reach your fingertips away. Away, so elbows to the waist, and then you're turning your palms. So they're facing the ceiling, then the back. The ceiling, then the back. In and extend. Extend. Remember your legs, stay low. In and extend. In and extend. You can do it. Anytime you need to change your positioning with your legs, bring them in closer maybe. You can. A few more like this. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We're going to change our legs slightly so we're still turned out, but one leg is going to go behind, and we're going to have this arm up and this arm out, and we're going to bend press through the arms and the legs. Bend press, bend press. So you're bend pressing. Nice upright posture, 
bend and extend, bend and extend. So that's what it's all about. It's the bend the elbow, extend, bend and extend. Hinge forward slightly at your waist. Keep the weight in the heel of the front leg. Bend and extend. Your arm is up at shoulder height. Press down your shoulders. Down and up. Down and up. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. We're going to switch that up. Same thing. Other leg is behind. Hinge forward slightly. One arm up. One arm to the side. Bend and extend. Bend and extend. Coming down. Flat back and out and out. It's only from the elbow to the fingertips that's moving here. The rest of your upper arm is static. Bend and extend and extend. Lean forward, weight is in the heel. Extend. Are you sweating? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now come into a little mini plie position and we're going to do a few more. We're going to go out and up. So your arms are away from your body and you're just twisting through those elbows. Comes up to the back. You can lean forward a little bit if this is bothering your back being in this plie position, tummies are in. And eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, roll the shoulders. Put both into the same hand and we're just gonna go out and in, out and in, and maybe out and in, out and in. Out, rotate a calf. You wanna keep your palm facing the ceiling. Keep your elbow pinned in to your waistline. Out and in, out and in. Really twist towards the back. Blow out on the down and really think about that shoulder joint. Again, everything is static except for that bottom portion of the arm. Out and in. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're switching it. Same thing. So it's out and in. Out and in. It's out and in. Out and in. Nice and wide. Body is upright. So out on the out, out and in, out and in. Tummies are in. So we're doing cardio sculpt, not jumping, still breathing, right? Out and in, really rotate. Keep that elbow in to your waist. Let's go for eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. We're going to just finish off with some more swan arms. We're going to bend to the side and swan arm to the side, bringing our chest through. Chest through. Really breathe. Long extensions. Let's go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come back to the center. Really open now, forward and back. So I'm allowing my chest to fall forward and back. Keep your back flat, forward and opening that chest. And back, and back. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Open and back. 
Really big flapping wings. Go for six, five, four, three, two. One, now open to the other side. And just lean and extend, lean and extend. Last little bit, and then we're going back to a little bit more cardio before we move on to the weights work. Up, up, knees are soft. Open and extend. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, roll your shoulders. I'm just gonna move my weights a little bit for this next one. So what I want you to do is a chasse. So it's out and behind. So it's out, behind, out, across, behind, out, across, behind. Arms are just out, nice and wide. You've got your knees soft. You kind of turned out in the toes now and you're stepping behind, rock step and out, rock step and out. Now you can make this as big as you want to. Fly across that room, behind. We're gonna add on to this. We're gonna stay on the side and we're gonna do a nice step in front and then back in, into place. So four more of these and three more and two more. And last one. Now it's out, behind, across. Out, behind, across. So behind first, then out, behind, across. Maybe sink lower. Across. Out, behind, across. Big with the arms. Out, behind, across. Out, behind, across. We're gonna add on again. We're gonna do a step in front as well. But a few more of these, behind, across. Out, behind, across. One more on each side. Out, behind, across. And out, behind, across. Now it's out, in front, out, behind, across. Okay, out, in front, out, behind, across. So you're always stepping in front, then behind again. Starting with the behind, side. Front, side, behind, and cross. Get low. Now you know it, I want you to sink into those legs. Think every angle here. A few more like this, and then we're adding on one final part. It's gonna be a nice big kick. Heart rate is coming up. Across, let's go three more sets. So, across, front, behind. This is set two. Front, behind, big wide. Front, behind, this is the last set. And we're adding on the last little bit. Behind. Now on the end of this one, I'm gonna add on a big kick. Front, behind, now back, kick, back, across. Back, side, front, side. Back, kick diagonal, back, across. Back, side, front, side. Back, kick, and across. Got it? If you don't, just stick with the previous version. Behind first, then across, behind, side, front, side, back, kick, back, across, back, side, front, side, back, kick. You can lift that kick a little bit if you want. Front, side, back, kick, back, across. A few more, because they're fun, right? Back, kick, and across. How about four more? Front because you're just getting the hang of it now. Maybe lift that kick. Front, back, kick, and across. Three more. Front, sets that is. Kick, and across. 
Keep breathing, this is low impact cardio. This is two sets now. Front, back, kick, and across. Front, back, kick, and across. This is the last set, you're gonna be sad. Back, kick, and across. Last time this side. Back, kick, and across. Side step. Side step, side to side, arms in front and behind. Come on, you can do this. Big wide step, sink low. It's up and down, up and down. That's the motion, up and down. I'm gonna change this to two up on the side and then some singles. Go for six, five, four, three, two, one, it's two and two. Now single, 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 single. Two and two, so it's a pony again. Single, 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 single. Last little bit. Up and down. Single, 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 single. Up, little punches overhead. Single, 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 single. Two more sets. Then we switch sides. Big side steps. Last set. And up and down. Single, 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 single. Switch it up, down, up, down. Side, side. Ah, breathing now. Up and down. You don't have to jump it. You can just lift your heels. You can just go up and down and mark it, okay? Side, side, four more sets. Breathe, lean into it, up and down. Three sets, dun, dun, dun. side, 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 side. Two more sets, up and down. Side, side, side and side. Last set, up and down, side, side. Side and side. Nice job. So we're going to put our light weights down and we're going to grab our chair and we're going to turn it so that the seat is towards us. So we're going to do some lunges first. We're going to take our medium weights and we're just going to start with a bit of a warm up before we start the hard work. Yes, Minnie. So come into a lunge position with one leg in front of the other and we're just going to go down and up. So 90, 90 degrees. Everything is nice and tall. You're breathing out on the up. You're coming down with the weight in the heel of the front leg. Heart rate is still coming down and we're just trying to do those nice parallel lunges. Down and up. Sculpting the muscle after burning the fat. A few more like this. Then we're going to use the single weight and we're going to do a forward leaning lunge and we're going to have our back leg up on the chair. Okay, so think about that. Let's go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. So put that down, safely get your bigger weight. The same leg is in front, the other leg is gonna be up on the chair and we're going to have a nice wide stance. Now we're gonna lean forward with a flat back. You can either hold your weight by your waist or you can let it hang and we're gonna make sure that we have enough room there. Come down and up, down and up. So if you want to, you can just be here. You can go as shallow, or as low as you want. This burns a lot, as you can tell. So, depending on how shallow you go is how much it's gonna burn you. The lower, the more burn. You choose your level. So you've got your knee in line with your ankle and the weight is in the heel for another six, five, Four, three, 
two, and one. Now come down safely, drop that weight, and we're gonna do a cardio burst to really burn out that same muscle group. So come into that stance, and what I want you to do is touch down, clap under. Touch down, clap under. Lift up that knee, okay? Lift it up, lift it up, lift it up. If you can't touch down, then just come to your low point, maybe here, lift it up. But as you come down, your weight is in the heel of the front leg. Breathe out on the up, it's up. And up, are you feeling that glute? Up, and up. Come on, you can do this. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. We're not done. Lactic acid out of the back leg. Come back down, arms are overhead. Little jumps. Now, if you can't lift off, then just keep your toes down and lift your heels. But if you want that real burn, tiny ups, tiny ups, not many. Stay nice and low. Eight, seven, five, three, one. Ah, attitude. Did you feel that in your glute? So we're doing the other side now. Same thing, pick up your weights and we're going to do a nice lunge. So this time the other leg is back behind with your nice 90-90 angles, down and up, down and up. Keeping your chest tall, shoulders down and back, weight is in the heel of the front leg, in at the bottom, out at the top. Slow and controlled, really squeezing your muscles. Never standing all the way up. See how my front leg remains bent? That's what I want from you. Don't stand all the way up, down and up. Breathe. This is for the metabolism. We're working high reps, lighter weights with cardio bursts. We're doing compound moves where we're using the upper and lower body. Just holding this weight is work. A few more like this. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come in safely, put that down. Now if you want to, you can keep your two weights and make this harder. That's up to you. I'm not. Toes on the, on the seat. Now test it. As you come down, is your knee gonna stay in line with your ankle? Otherwise you need a wider stance. So we're going to come down and up. Down and up. Hinging forward at the waist. And all the weight is in that heel. It knows it too. You can feel it, right? Down and up. Down and up. If this is just not working for you, why not here, okay? Then maybe sink lower. Or maybe here, but without the weight. Down and up, okay? You've got options here. You don't have to copy me. Down and up. Six. Five, four, three, two, one. Safely come down. We've got those jumps. So line yourself up again. And we're gonna come down and clap under, clap under. So if you've got your legs wider apart, like in terms of this way, then you've got a more stable base of support. If you try to put your foot right in front of the other one, you're gonna fall over. So railroads, think railroad tracks. One leg on each side of the track. 
landing in the heel, back is flat, reach as low as you can, doesn't have to be touching the floor, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and stay there, we're not done. We've got our hands overhead, little tiny jumps. Remember those? Up and jump, up and jump. And if you don't want to jump, then just pulse it. If you can't even do that, then here. Just hold it, that's bad enough. But jump for a few more. Breathe. I believe in you, you can do this. Try to jump, even every second or third one. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, attitude, stretch that out. We're using our chair now, and what we're gonna do is put our tummy on there so that we've got support while we're doing some glute work. So my chair allows me to put my body on there and have my hands off, and it's supporting my entire middle. The good thing about this is that it keeps our spine nice and flat, okay? So if you're in a normal tabletop position, you can arch or curve your spine. Here you kind of can't. All we're gonna do is little raises, little raises, simple stuff, up and down. So because you're pressing your entire body into the chair, you're actually forcing yourself to keep square, which is really good because this is what you're supposed to be doing whenever you do tabletop work. You're supposed to keep your chest and shoulders aligned parallel to the mat and also your hips parallel. So here you can really focus on that and breathe out and up. Long extension through the toe, squeeze that glute, a few more like this, and then we're gonna change it slightly. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now we're gonna cross up the ankles and then we're gonna to kick to the side. Cross at the ankles, come up, and then kick to the side. So this one requires a bit more core strength. So you might wanna push into this front arm and hold your tummy in as you kick to the side. It's crossed behind, kick to the side. Squeeze those side glutes. Look down at the mat once you have it so that you're keeping that nice alignment and you don't wanna crane your neck to look at me and kick. Try not to kick your cat and side. Down and up and side. Down and up and side. A few more like this. Four more and go up here. Three and two and one. Now we're just gonna pulse it. So I really want you to turn out your hip, kneecap to the front and pulse up, up. Squeeze and pulse up. Keep looking down, your chest is still facing down. Up, up, squeeze up, up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, come down. We're doing that to the other side. I'm just gonna switch my chair around. And keep breathing, people. Oxygen to the muscle. So this time on this side, we're doing exactly the same thing. We're gonna extend that leg long. Back, back. So once again, really focus on keeping your body square downwards and shooting that leg back with a pointed toe. Back, lengthen, it's about lengthening as well as raising, okay? You don't want to just poke to the back without raising the glute. Back, back. Squeeze that glute. Really make a fist out of that butt cheek. Squeeze, squeeze.
squeeze. A few more like this. Breathe out on the extension. Up and up. We're in parallel at the moment and next we're gonna turn out our knee to the front. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now cross your ankles and we're coming up and extend and back down. Down, up, extend. Down, up, extend. I really want you to fight to keep your chest down towards the mat. It's gonna to wanna to turn out. The best thing to do is to press into the front hand and then really kind of fight and hold your tummy in as tight as you can as you extend that leg. Otherwise, your body's gonna to wanna to turn out. Up. If you can't do this with the chair, if it's just too awkward for you, then you can just go onto all fours, okay? Just find a way of doing it. Six, five, extend long. Four, as high as you can. Three, two, and one. Now keep it up, really turn that hip out and the knee out and then pulse up from there. So you're starting from the high point and then pulsing up from there. You should have, this part here should be rock hard. Okay, now look down and keep pulsing up. Up. Breathing. Breathe, breathe. Up, up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh my goodness. You think we're done with the glutes? Unfortunately not. Sit back and stretch that for a second. Breathe in and Now we're gonna do some glute bridge. So I'm just gonna move all of my mess out of the way and I'm gonna face the chair this way. So make sure that your chair or whatever you're using is sturdy because we're gonna bridge up on this. If you want to use a weight, I would suggest using a medium weight only. This is only for the super advanced people who love torturing themselves. So let's just start easy. Lie down, relax. You can either put your feet on the edge like this, or if you prefer to have them up, you can. I quite like them on the edge, depending on what surface you've got. Let's start without the weight, and we've got our tummies in, and we're just gonna bridge up and come down. So, up and down. Now, I've got my chair pushed against my sofa, so I know it's not gonna go anywhere, and that's why I can have my feet on the edge like this. But if you don't have a wall or something to push your chair up against, then you might want to make sure your feet are planted in the center of the chair so that you don't tip it, and down. So come all the way up and create a straight line from your hips all the way down to your knees, or all the way up to your knees. You can press your hands into the mat. Let's go for four, three, two, and one. Now come down, and if you want to use the weight, we're gonna place it across our hips, okay? So this is for advanced people only. You need to keep your tummy pulled in, because when you're coming up on an elevation, your back is really kind of in a sensitive or vulnerable position. So once again, try it up and down. Now I just want halfway down, halfway down, up halfway down. Squeeze the glutes halfway down. Squeeze the glutes halfway down. Up halfway down. Up halfway down. Are you feeling this yet? Up halfway down. <sighs> Breathe out on the up. Up halfway down. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Now come down, 
So now what we're going to do, instead of just raising, we're going to tuck. So we're going to keep it a little bit lower. We're going to come up to about a fist or a fist and a half off the mat. And I want you to tip your hips towards your ribs. It's a tuck and it, I'm going to remove my weight so you can see better. It's a tuck and a release. A tuck and a release. So you're tipping. That gap between your hips and your ribs is closing and then opening, okay? That's the action. Tuck and release. And if you want your weight on there, keep your weight on there. But if not, I just want you to focus on really squeezing the glutes to create that tucking action. It's a tuck and release, tuck and release. So if you have your feet up on the edge of the chair like I do, you're gonna feel your hamstrings there, really starting to burn. Go for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come down, I'm just gonna stretch out my hamstrings a little bit because they're getting really tight. Okay, so now we're going to bring our toes to the edge of the chair and we're going to knock our knees together, okay? So make sure that you've got that perfect positioning. So if you ever need to scoot closer to the chair, you can. And we're going to come up with our knees knocking together, squeeze together as if you've got a ball in there and you're trying to squeeze it in. <sighs> Breathe out and squeeze at the same time. Down and up, squeeze. Down and up, squeeze. So in this position, I prefer not to have a weight because I like to really focus on that squeeze. And if you've got the weight there, then you're kind of focusing on too many things. So squeeze up, squeeze up. So you're trying to get the entire length of your thighs from the inner thigh all the way to your knee, touching as much as possible. It's up, it's up. Let's go for eight and seven and six and five, four, three, two, and one. Now come down, if you want to, just release your hamstrings. Now we're gonna be in that same position, but we're gonna do those tucks again, okay? So we're gonna stay low and tuck. So we've got our knees together, our feet apart. Come up just about a fist and a half away from the floor, and remember that tipping action, tipping hips to ribs. You can put your hand there and you can feel your hip bone coming closer to your ribs, okay? So that's what you're trying to achieve here. Squeeze, squeeze. It's not a big move. You're not going up and down a lot, but you are squeezing in on your knees here, okay? So it's blow out on the tip. A few more like this. I know it's burning. Let's go for eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Come down if you want to. Straighten out your legs again. We're going to do one final position. This time our feet are going to be close together and we're going to come up and our knees are going to separate, okay? So it's going to be up, out, in and down. Deep breath in. Come up, out, in, down. Up, out, in, down. So push up and then come back down, in, down. Up, out, in, down. This one's for the outer thighs and the outer side of the glute, out, in, down. And it burns big time. Yep, elevating just makes everything so much more torturous. <laughs> but it's good, we're feeling the burn and we're gonna see those changes. So be determined here to finish, we're nearly done with this. Eight, and seven, and six, and five, and four. Inner thigh death, three, and two, and one. Oh my goodness, let's open up our legs and pull that in and stretch that. <sighs> Are you still alive? I hope so. We're gonna do a couple of abs to finish. Oh, just stretch that out. 
couple of abs to finish and then we're done with this, okay? So, shall we use our chair for abs? Shall we be extra mean? I think we shall. We're gonna start in a seated position. So sit down on your chair. I've just got the end, so my glutes on the edge of the chair and I'm going to lean back and put my hands behind. You can either hold onto the edge or just behind. It depends on the width of your chair. And we're just gonna do classic leg up and down walks, okay? So you just wanna keep the top leg bent. You wanna focus on pulling your belly button into your spine and keeping everything super flat. And now that we've got this elevation, it means that we have longer length to go up and down, which means our hip flexors are definitely gonna get involved here. And it's gonna burn so much more, right? But don't worry, your hip flexors are gonna get stronger with time. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Sit up, deep breath in. Now, cross your leg over and we're gonna do crunches in with a cross leg. In and tap down. So I'm tapping my toe down and this is good for the front of the thigh as well. Mini, sometimes when she gets in this mode when she wants to go out, she starts attacking my leg. So I have to be careful there. <sighs> Breathe out and crunch in. Out and crunch in. Eight, I know it burns. Seven, six, bring your chest towards that thigh. Four, three, two, and one. Hip flexor death. Okay, other side. Deep breath in, cross the other leg over, and lean back and in. It's out and in. So if this is too hard, you can just, do the upper body or just do the lower body. You can just sit there and maybe lift off a tiny bit. That's probably still gonna burn if you don't wanna do the whole thing. But keep in mind, we're nearly done. In, in. The weight of that leg pressing down on your thigh is creating so much more tension. Eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and one. Okay, we've just got one more exercise and then we're gonna stretch. Okay, we need to do some oblique, so we're gonna angle our knees to the front and to the back. Front and back. Front and back. Front and back. Our chest is still going directly to the center. It's only our legs that are moving side to side. Front and back. Front and back. Come on, breathe out all the air, squeeze it up. The higher you squeeze it, the more you feel your abs. Up and up. Eight. Seven, slow it down if you have to. Six. Five, four, if you can only do one leg, three, <laughs> two, and one. Ah, oh, okay. Sit tall, breathe in, roll your shoulders back. We're going to stretch. So the first stretch is for the front of your abs. So just look up, push your chest up, deep breath in. Keep pushing up. Feel the front body stretching. And then just release that. And I just want you to come down and put your hands behind and then pull back. Open up through the shoulder blades. And then come down and release the other way. And same thing, pull back. And then if you want to, grab onto your toes and pull up 
Opening up, looking down. Once again, opening up through the upper back and the shoulder blades. Roll it up. I'm going to use my chair to stretch out my quad. So I'm going to sit on the very edge, pull my heel up to my glutes and stretch out the front of my thighs. And then extend your leg in front and just bend over and feel that back of your leg stretching. And then similar to what we just did, cross over and lean forward. So we're stretching our glutes and our hips here and our outer thighs. And we're going to reverse that. So start with the glute stretch. Leaning forward. That feels so good. Hamstring. You can point and flex. And then come to the edge of your chair, pull your heel in to your glute. And just press that in and really try to push your thigh backwards to intensify the stretch. Now while we're here, I'm going to grab onto the chair and I'm going to twist away to stretch my shoulder. Push down on the shoulder and twist away. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Push down, keep a strong straight spine and twist away. And then just using the chair, place your hands onto that seat and just pull away. And then up, and then, in. and then down one more time. And then roll up through the spine, interlace, pull up, side to side. And then interlace behind, pull up. Roll your shoulders and you're done. Thanks so much for joining me for Metabolic Training Cardio Skull. I hope you enjoyed the workout. Minnie was a little bit distracting, weren't you, Minnie? But we'll see you at the next workout. Bye for now.